Hey there, fiends. Welcome to Toon TV, episode 4. Now with 60% more real bacon. Yes, that's right. I'm Toon Dragomir, dueling out the gruel on YouTube, and this is my little show. Thank you for tuning in. Ha <laughs> uh, this show ain't no good. We begin this week with the weird, the undefinable, the magical, the mystical, the bloody, the gross, the scary, the toast. Mmm, toast. Of course I'm talking about Corpus. Come on, give me a nice wet licorice kiss. If you haven't already picked up Reward Radio's Hymns from the House of Horror Volume 2, you gotta do so now. It's available for a limited time, and on there, you will find a really freaky track by Corpus called Blood Will Have Blood. <sighs> It's pretty intense. I love Corpus, and I went to see him last week, so let's take that ride. For all of you people who couldn't make it, or who were just too plain fucking scared to show up. Boom, roasted! <laughs> yeah. Corpus, honey and locusts. He's not goth enough for the goths. He's not necessarily punk enough for the punks. He doesn't quite have any one thing that any one genre can grab onto to rally around, because he's a combination of all of it. He can't really say it's a show. <laughs> it's past that. It's just unbelievably thorough. Really terrifying. Some people come to the show, I think they think it's funny. Some people think it's frightening. Some people think it's absurdist. Is this ridiculous? Is it genius? Well, like, what is it? A rock nightmare, and almost more than one can comprehend. Ladies and gentlemen, playing songs from his new album, Honey and Locusts, which is for sale tonight in an ultra-limited edition, hand-painted by Corpus. It gives me great pleasure to present Hi-Hat Recordings artist,
ludicrous? Or is it so sane that you just lost your mind? So who's got their hymns? If you've downloaded Remarkers Hymns from the House of Horror Volume 2 yet, you're well, one of the lucky ones, of course, because it's awesome and it kicks ass and I'm on it. But uh, it's also got these fake Grindhouse trailers that I helped put together with the, some of the guys from Remarg. Um, there's four of them, and uh, some of you may have heard them by now. So if you have, this is basically for you. The greatest movie never made. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kill Murder Killers. What could cause such blood savage kill thirst among men? <laughs> What could make ordinary people enter a state of primal death murder for kick thrills? Where you running to, little girl? Kill me, why don't you? Kill me! Aw, <laughs> uh, don't kill her yet. I still haven't had any fun. <laughs> And what could turn a peaceful town into a pit hole of depravity? A pool bath of deprivation. <laughs> And a container box of depravedness? Kill murder killers. That's what. The story was not real. This is the movie that is just as not real. The Kill Murder Killers. See it before you watch it. <laughs> In this town on Valentine's Day, everybody loses their heart. It looks like Harry Wharton's back in town. In the town of Valentine Bluffs, there are many ways to die. Take your pick. My bloody Valentine. Rated R. This is George Malka, director of Bloody Valentine. You're watching Tomb TV. Brains. Brains for dinner. Brains for lunch. Brains for breakfast. Brains for brunch. Brains at every single meal. Why can't we have some guts? Brains are all we ever get in this rotten fucking place. Brains are all we ever get. Why can't we have a change of pace? Why can't we have some fucking rotten guts? I guess we always could go to Jack in the Box. Great idea. Let's go to Jack in the Box. On, nom nom nom. On, nom nom nom. 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 Brain for breakfast, brain for brunch. Brains at every single new one. Come to get some guts. Well, that sure was a lot of pun, wasn't it, fiends? Yes, yes it was. But not nearly as punny as this book here. Monster Mats, bad monster jokes. Yes, Monster Mats got more puns than the NRA's got guns. If you know what I'm saying. And this thing makes me smile every time. Yes, in times of crisis, some people reach to the good book, the Bible. Weirdos like me reach for Monster Mats, bad monster jokes. Yeah. And with that, fiends, we're all out of time. Thanks for tuning in to Toon TV Episode 4. So until we meet again, my friends... Adios. <laughs>
Legs walking. Um, num, 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 num. Ah, catchy. Me like. Yeah, it's time for a touch up, my old friend. The sun's bleaching out your colors again. We gotta keep your war paint fresh. Big Chief without. War paint is like, is like... Like a storekeeper without a town to sell his goods to? Legs walking. Legs walking. Legs walking. Uh.